self actualization means centering self actualization does not mean that you should become a great poet or you should become a great musician i mean that you should become a total man you your potentiality reaches its pinnacle i do not say a great man because a great man is always partial greatness in anything is always partial one moves and moves and moves in one direction and in all other dire all other dimensions all other directions one remains the same one becomes one sided when i say become a total man i do not mean become a great man i mean create a balance be centered be fulfilled as a man not as a musician not as a poet not as an artist but be fulfilled as man what does it means to be fulfilled as a man when i say man i mean both man and woman a great poet is a great poet because of great poetry a great musician is great because of great music that he creates a great man is great because of certain things he has done he may be a great hero a great man in any direction is partial greatness is partial fragmentary that is why great men have to face more anguish than ordinary men what is a total man what is meant by being a whole man a total man it means firstly be centered do not exist without a center this moment you are something next moment you are something else people come to me and i generally ask them where do they feel your center is in the heart in the mind in the navel where in the sex center where where do you feel your center generally they say sometimes i feel in the head sometimes in the heart other times i do not feel it at all so i tell them to close your eyes before me and feel it just now in the majority of the cases this happens they say just now for a moment i feel that i am centered in the head but the next moment they are not there they say i am in the heart and the next moment the center has slipped it is somewhere else at the sex center or somewhere else really you are not centered you are only momentarily centered each moment has its own center so you go on shifting when mind is functioning you feel that the head is the center when you are in love you feel it is the heart when you are not doing anything particularly you are confused this is the situation with most of us you cannot find out where the center is because you can find this out only when you are working doing something then a particular part of the body becomes the center but you are not centered if you are not doing anything 
you cannot find where your center is there are certain things have to be remembered firstly a total man is centered whatsoever he is doing he remains in the center if the mind is functioning he is thinking thinking goes on in the head but he remains centered in the navel the center is never missed he uses the head but he never moves to the head he uses the heart but he never moves to the heart all these things become instruments and he remains centered it is like this you have a base in your house which is your bedroom you have to come to work in the kitchen in the garden outside in the garage but when you are finished you return to your bedroom because most of your essential things you leave your essential things in the bedroom which is the center where you are most relaxed secondly he is balanced of course when one is centered naturally he is balanced his life is a deep balance he is never one sided he is never at any extreme he remains in the middle buddha had called this the middle path he remains always in the middle a man is not centered a man who is not centered will always move to the extremes at times you would have seen when the difficulty arises of any kind you are in a state of confusion you are imbalanced you are not centered the boat is shaking on the water as it is moving when he eats he will eat much he will overeat or he can fast but right eating is impossible for him fasting is easy overeating is okay he can be in the world committed involved or he can renounce the world he cannot be in both situations balanced as far as my living is concerned i have to work so the work that has been given to me is running a business of supermarket that is my one aspect but even in dealing with the customers i do not lose my center center means compassion your qualities that has blossomed but he can the he can be in the world committed involved or he can renounce the world but be never balanced he can never remain in the middle because if you are not centered you do not know what middle means a person who is centered is always in the middle in everything never at any extreme buddha says his eating is the right eating he is neither overeating nor fasting his labor is right labor never too much never too little whatsoever he is he is always balanced first thing a self actualized person will be centered second thing he will be balanced and third if these two things happen centered and balanced centering and balance many things will follow naturally he will always be at ease whatsoever be the situation the at easeness will not be lost in any case 
I say whatsoever be the situation, unconditionally, the atheisness will not be lost, because one who is at the center is always at ease. Even if death comes, he will be at ease. He will receive the death as one receives any other guest. If misery comes, he will receive it. Whatsoever happens, it cannot dislodge him from his center. That at is also a byproduct of being centered. For such a man, nothing is trivial and nothing is great. Everything becomes sacred, beautiful, holy, everything. At times, people ask that they are feeling this or that. So, I have to tell the person that the judgment comes through the mind, through your egocentric identities and conditionings. Because in the existence there is no world, world as trivial, everything is sacred. The touch of the man is significant. A self-actualized person, a balanced, a centered person changes everything. The very touch makes it great. If you observe a Buddha, you will see that he walks and he loves walking. If you go to Bodh Gaya, where Buddha attained enlightenment to the bank of the river Niranjana, to the place where he was sitting under the Bodhi tree, you will see that the place of his steps have been marked. He would meditate for one hour, then he would walk around. In Buddhist terminology, this is called chakra man. Chakra means circle or wheel. Man means the person. He would sit under the Bodhi tree, then he would walk, but he would walk with a serene attitude as if in deep meditation. Someone asked Buddha, why do you do this? Sometimes you sit with closed eyes and meditate, then you walk. Buddha says, said, sitting in order to be silent is easy, so I walk. But I carry the same silence within. I sit, but inside I am the same, silent. I walk, but inside I am the same, silent. The inner quality remains the same when he meets an emperor and when he meets a beggar. A Buddha is the same. He has the same inner quality while meeting a beggar or an emperor. He is not different. Instead, he is the same. Beggar is not nobody and the emperor is not somebody. And really, while meeting a Buddha, emperors have felt like beggars and beggars have felt like emperors. The touch of such a man, the quality remains the touch, the man, the quality remains the same. Nothing changes inner. Whatsoever his meditativeness can be felt, the serenity that surrounds him can be felt around him whatsoever he is doing, irrespective of what these are the rules that one has to perform. There is no difference in the inner state. Enough for now.